We're here today in Portland, Oregon uh, to support the Palestinian people and to inform the public and the Palestinians about the use of depleted uranium bunker buster bombs in Gaza and along the, the, the Egyptian border. Um, the U.S. government gave the depleted uranium bombs to Israel to drop on the people of Palestine. And of course the Senate voted unanimously a couple of days ago to support this attack on the unarmed Palestinians. It's really a war against the civilian population. And depleted uranium below drinking water standards, EPA drinking water standards, is a hormone and an estrogen disruptor. So at a level the U.S. government says is safe in drinking water, it's actually causing large increases in infertility and reproductive cancers, in other words, breast, uterine, ovarian, and prostate cancer. So it's not only a war, undeclared nuclear war against the present civilian population, but it's a nuclear war that will affect all future generations. It's called extermination. It's called Zionist extermination. And radiation respects no borders, no religion, no socioeconomic group. There's no way to clean it up, and there's no way to turn it off. Mm. Now, the, this, okay. um, this depleted uranium, one thing that you say they're putting it, how, how is it that they put it in the bomb? Or, or it's, um, it's uh, in a nutshell. <laughs> in a, in a 5,000 pound bunker buster bomb, about 75% or 80% of the bomb is solid depleted uranium. When it hits the ground, it vaporizes into a poison radioactive gas and it travels all over the world. Okay, thanks for explaining that. It doubled the uranium and drinking water in Los Angeles doubled in 2007. There's nowhere, no place to hide. It's everywhere now. It's everywhere.